Now, what do you do when there's a tornado on steroids coming your way? You obviously leave. You pack up your stuff, your password, laptop, essential stuff, and you leave. In my case, I need to pack up Optimus Prime and my other cat Megatron, and I won't have enough space for my passport and other stuff i'll have to pack up optimus's food because if the tornado doesn't kill me if i don't pack enough food optimus prime is going to finish me any normal human being is going to leave because if you stay what is going to happen to the political and the economical state of the world can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now and what is going to happen to lebron james legacy I'm sorry, I relapsed. I watched TikTok during my chicken breast coffee aftermath sessions. While my asshole was suffering, my thighs red and all tapped out. I was sitting and watching TikToks for 30 minutes. And I saw a TikTok which said, what is going to happen to LeBron James after any single thing? And after my shit, it really got stuck with me. I just dumped five kilo. What is going to happen to LeBron James legacy after this five kilo of dumb patient? I'm getting way off topic. Anyways, now if you're not aware of what's going on in Florida, Florida is getting a new decoration inside the whole state. A lot of homes are getting destroyed. A lot of homes are identifying themselves at swimming pools. And there's a bunch of meat and grease between alligators inside the homes. Holy shit. Bro was caught red hand that he thought that if he doesn't move, no one's going to see his big ass inside a house. A lot of shit happened. We have Mike Tyson warming up against his fight with Jake Paul. And according to CNN, this is a category three hurricane. I don't know what the hell this is. It came right after the category one storm. And the storm is being represented more than a one in a thousand year rainfall event. And more than a dozen people have lost their lives during this hurricane Milton. I swear to God, each month the hurricane is identifying themselves with different names, genders, whatever the hell it is. But anyways, not, not the point of the story. Obviously, a lot of people left some people stayed and there's this one particular kick streamer named aiden ross who happens to be a part owner of kick as most of you know what kick is a streaming platform that started in 2022 and aiden ross was the first big streamer who joined the platform became the part share owner brought a lot of people with them with a lot of freedom that led to a lot of degenerate stuff that led to more content on this channel now this particular streamer aiden ross is a multi hundred millionaire you put your money in the bank, he wipes his ass with the bank and throws it out in the garage because he doesn't need it. We talked about him a couple of times. He has this community challenge game where, you know, multiple different games. One of them was where he goes on Omegle and just meets up a random people and tells them to break their setup, break their shit, break their keyboard, mouse, to PC, TV, whatever it is. And I'm going to pay you this amount of money. I did it. Turn the TV on. Where's my cash? Turn the TV Turn the on. TV on. Out. Turn the TV on. Fucking break. What are you fucking doing? Nope. <laughs> Turn the fucking TV on. <laughs> Holy, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck's wrong with you? You got issues? Dude, I got it. Oh, man, your fucking ass. Fuck! Dude, you better get my fucking mind. All right, let me talk to your dad. Let me talk to your dad. Because to a 22-year-old millionaire, life is boring. There's nothing to do. You need to create content. And you need to have fun because it's all about having fun. And once the Hurricane Milton hit, he invited two of his friends to a survival challenge where the price goes up to $75,000. But one thing this donkey failed to realize is the fact that the influence that he has, $75,000 might be a pocket change for them, but it's a life-changing money for a lot of people. If you get seriously injured or hurt, 75K, okay. and to go in to stream it for how long is the hurricane? Like one or two days? Um, yeah. I'll give you 30 racks. Now, this was the clip that went viral on TikTok. No names were mentioned that only it applies to two people only. No, it went all over the place. Not a lot of people watch the whole stream, know the whole context. They just see this clip. Holy shit, it's a survival challenge. Mom, where's my tent? Just for fun saying that he will gift $75,000 if you get hurt. And if you stream it for a day or two, you get $30,000. Just like that, risk your friend's life for money? A majority of the people watch him, their kids. And how is this going to affect the political and economical state of the, what the fuck? How is this going to affect them? It is going to teach them that if you do dumb shit, there is high rewards for it. This is a bad influence, which led to this one guy that we talked about on this channel, who did this before on the last hurricane, decided to take on the channel because he believed that the survival challenge was meant for everyone. Come on, lad! 
Okay, I'm in. Come on. Okay, help me. Okay, zoomed in. And just a day later, the news got to Aiden Ross, and he came to his stream, and he said, "Evacuate, bros. The seventy thousand dollar was intended to Sweater God and Sam Bond, which are the two streamers that he challenged. Not you. You need to evacuate, evacuate, bro. The seventy challenge." The 70k challenge is not for you. And obviously, bro was locked in. In his head, he already planned what kind of Hellcat he wanted to buy. And after seeing Aiden Ross's message, he just flipped out. Aiden Ross just Aiden Ross commented and said he's not paying me. What the fuck? What? Wait, 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 wait. Aiden Ross just commented and he said he's not paying me. What the fuck? What? There's no fucking way. Nigga, fuck you. There's also this another streamer called Shuvi that we talked about like twice on this channel. He also participated in the survival challenge that led to Shuvi's arrest. He got arrested for the hundredth time this month. What happened to him? Apparently he broke into a house and he was arrested on the breaking and entry, but he claims that it was his friend's house even though the police arrested him. Let me see your hands! Police! My hands are up. Get down here! Right now! Get down! Get down! Put your phone down! On the ground, down! I'm on the ground, I'm on the ground. Obviously, he was competing in that $70,000 challenge. He just wanted to stay safe, pass time, and complete the challenge. Now, Aiden Ross has a spam account as well, where he posted on this channel on 10th of October saying, Let's send the 70k. $1,000 was promised to two specific streamers, not everyone. You guys need to get to safety and evacuate. Protect yourselves, please. It's not worth it. Please. This is what I like to call talking without thinking, or to be more specific, talking out of your ass. You challenge two people to risk their lives, and with the influence that you have, you think no one's going to participate in the challenge. Let's leave the people who risk their lives for $70,000. Let's talk about the influence that this is going to have, the message that you're sending the young generation. Now, it is bad enough that these streamers are bringing OF girls, girls from, you know, corn stars. They're showcasing these things to the young audience. Sure, you're encouraging your audience to be pervs sitting there. Oh my god, she's so hot. I saw did you see her movie last night? Amazing in the chat, literally going on. But when it comes to influencing them risking their lives, this is when there is a line and he is crossing it without even realizing. I think he just realized it recently because of the heat that he's been getting. The clips have been going viral, by the way, guys, for the wrong reasons. Um, people's lives being uh, uh, involved in a hurricane with my name written all over it. It's absolutely f***ing insane. I got texted from Eddie today. I got texted from all people like, Aiden, what is wrong with you, you soulless freak? Guys, I didn't say I'd pay $70,000 to people to go in the hurricane and stream it. You're an absolute f evacuating Tampa and, 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 and getting the help, okay? I offered two people. Two specific streamers, Sambon as a joke, because my community bashes Sambon. They want him, you know, to be clowned on because it's part of the meme. And Sweater God, knowing they wouldn't do it. Now, we also talked about the kick platform trying to clean all the germs out of the platform. They're trying to, you know, go a little bit towards the family friendly part because there's been a lot of illegal shit, degenerate stuff happening on the kick. And obviously, they reached out to Aiden. They gave him shit for this. And this is the part where, again, Aiden spoke out of his ass. Because if he's not encouraging... I don't think he still sees it. He is encouraging this shit. Because if you've been around the internet for the past couple of days, you know who Lieutenant Dan is. Lieutenant Dan, he's staying on the boat because that's the last thing that he has. He doesn't want to lose it. Very still, very dangerous. The police try to take him. The mayor said in an interview that they're trying to take him out of the boat, get him to safety. But he's not leaving. He's still there. And Aiden Ross decided to jump in and be like, you know what? I'm going to get you a kick deal. $50,000 a month for streaming and $100,000 boat. Donkey! What is this? You do dumb shit, you do dangerous shit, you get rewarded for it? Next thing you know, some idiot's going to pick up from this and be like, holy shit, this guy's rich from doing this dumb shit, a volcano blows up, lava's coming towards him. He's going to camp there and wait for Aiden Ross to offer him a, offer him a kick deal and like $100,000. We were able to come up, I, I'm gonna be able to pay for a boat for you. We're gonna get you a nice boat um, in the range of fifty dollars to $100,000. Um, and we're gonna get you a full-time kick deal which is a live streaming deal where you can stream your entire voyages and all your adventures. I swear to God, this is some donkey behavior. Now, sure, Lieutenant Dan wants to stay on his boat. He's an adult. He can do whatever he wants. But when he becomes influential, 
He doesn't say anyone to try it. He doesn't say it like indirectly or doesn't inspire anyone to try this shit. But when you offer money for this, it should just be like, yo, you know, cool. You, you're doing this. You must be proud of yourself. Stay safe out there. If you want a hotel, I got you covered. Five stars. Help him out this way. Would you offer him a kick deal for $50,000 a month, which uh, Lieutenant Dan confirmed the amount? I believe this is just bad influence, which is going to, you know, adults like you, me and you watching this right now. We know this shit is just very stupid and it, your life is not worth $70,000. But for someone who's growing up and his biggest dream is to become a streamer, apparently a lot, majority of the kids want to be live streamers and YouTubers. When they see this, this is, becomes an influential thing where they need to do dumb shit in order to be successful and rich does he deserve to go to jail for this not really does he need to get shut out absolutely yes this is some donkey moves that he's doing and i hope kids are smart enough not to follow it which i doubt if i was a kid and the key to being a successful youtuber streamer was doing this dumb shit i probably would have done it to be honest with you so yeah anyways just want to talk about this let me know your thoughts in the comments below as usual like subscription if you're new here take it easy i'll see you at the next one